We're looking at a Remington 45 caliber 1911, but it's a double stack. We've been calling these 2011s now, and first of all, I want to point out that when you're looking at purchasing a new 1911, think about the double stack, because most manufacturers have this in their mix now. For instance, we're going to look at this Remington here, and please take a look here of this R1 model. Look at all the different variations of it. They range between eleven and thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars, depending on the sites and little options you want. But just picking one up for the first time in my hands, it's a little bit wider, of course, because it's a, a double stack. But I kind of like that, well, because I'm a big guy and I have big hands. But it's not overwhelming, even for smaller people. So when you're looking at a new 1911, think about doubling up your ammo. I mean, this is 17 total rounds, 16 plus one. The slide really feels nice. And I've been touching a lot of different slides and, and, and the action and the movement on 1911s. Uh, this week in particular, it makes a big difference when you're touching quality. This is a quality gun. Uh, you got an ambi safety, okay? The G10 grips. It's like we got a skeletonized trigger and hammer. We got a, everything we want to carry lights or la lasers up front, and then you're good to go. So just keep in mind, let me know what you think about the Remington R1, the new series of double stacks. They have a whole new series of 10 millimeter single stacks also, so keep that in mind. Keep Remington in mind. Thank you, my name is Tom. Please subscribe, share the video, hit that bell if you're new to the channel. Check it out, bye.